All right, then let's start. Take a deep breath in and out. In and out. And see yourself sitting here in your seat. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect to the waters below and the fires above. So first, reach out through your feet, reach down through the floor, down to the ground beneath the house, and feel down through the dirt, around the rocks, and keep on going down until you reach that bedrock and the waters sitting on the bedrock rock, deep beneath the earth, the cool, dark waters. And now draw those waters up, up through the ground, up through the floor, up through your feet and into your legs, up and into your belly, into your chest. Feel them flowing up into your head, through your arms, out your hands and back down into the earth. Waters flowing throughout your body. Now reach up and look up high above you to that star that is just above. And reach up to that star high through the house, through the clouds. And grab the light and bring that light down like a spotlight shining onto your head. Bring it down into your head and into your chest. Bring it down into your belly and into your legs. See that light move throughout your body, mix with the water and make you glow, full of the energies of the light above and the waters below. Feel them coursing throughout your body. Now, push that water back down, push that light back up, but keep, keep enough energy to make yourself feel whole and centered again. And once you disconnect, take a deep breath in and out, in, and out and rejoin us here. First, we make offerings to the Earth Mother. Earth Mother, you who surround us, you who uphold us, you who provide the food and nourishment that we, that sustains us the beautiful greenery that you have brought to us in the past few months. Earth Mother, for all that you do, accept this offering. We are here to celebrate a blessing rite. We are here to honor the gods and give the kindreds offerings we are here to ask that they bless us in return. Mighty well, you who reaches deep into the earth, connects us with the ancestors and the underworld. We give to you the silver. Mighty waters flow within us. Beautiful fire, you who burns and transforms and takes our offerings up skyward into the heavens to the shining ones. Sacred fire burn within us. In mighty tree, you with roots deep in the wells. 
and down in the underworld and branches high in the sky up where the shining ones live. Be our road between all the worlds. Sacred tree, grow within us. And in all our groves, by the might of the water, and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the water, in the light of this fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the water, in the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. Really? Okay then. It will not fit in the infant solar. <laughs> Gatekeepers all, you who walk between the worlds, you who guide us and guard us, you who have taken messages far and wide, we call upon you once more to join us and aid us this evening. Watch over us as we walk these holy roads. Take our messages far and wide and bring back what we need to hear. Gatekeepers all, accept their offerings. Now, gatekeepers, join your magic with mine. Let the well open as a gate to the underworlds. Fires open as a gate to the upper worlds. Let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. Hail and open. May they not open only here, but may they open in all of our homes. Shining ones, gods and goddesses of elder days, you who look upon each and every one of us, whether you are, we are known or unknown. For all that you have, all the advice, all the pushes, and everything that you have done for us and for our benefit, shining ones, except our offerings. Land spirits. Fur and feather, scale and skin, leaf and twig, stem and tree. All of you seen and all of the unseen. The elves, the fae, the whites, and all the many other names that you go by. You enrich our lives. You give us beauty. You give us companionship. Sometimes you give us a little bit of mischief, <laughs> but for all that you do, the answer is accept our offerings. And ancestors, you have walked the, these roads long before us. You have our blood, you have our friends, known or unknown to us. To this day, you still aid us and guide us. To this day, we still share your memories. Ancestors, accept our offerings. We have called to the kindred. We now open up to make any offerings to any of those uh, which we desire. Um, to, I want to just offer 
especially to Aphrodite Pandemos, who welcomes strangers. Tonight, I offer to Brige and ask her to be a mother and guide to all those that are in need of her help. Hail, Brige. Are there any other offerings to be made? I'll offer to Frigga and ask her to assert her sovereignty in creating a, a welcoming and a safe structure process for migrants and asylum seekers who come to any land, but in particular the states today in Canada. Hail Frigga. Hail. Okay, if there are no other offerings, I'll make the prayer of sacrifice. Mighty kindreds, we give to you. And we give to you one last time. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. And with the chimes, I think they may have. <laughs> Shining ones, what blessings do you give us tonight? They give us El House, elk, protection and defense. Land spirits, what blessings do you give us? They give us Pocano, hmm. the birch, new beginnings and I see it as motherly love mm -hmm. and ancestors what blessings do you give us they give us dagas <laughs> day The shining ones have our back. The land spirits will give us new beginnings and comfort along the way. And we will be reminded to take things one day at a time. Hmm. I think these blessings are good. <sighs> then ancient and mighty ones, Fill each of our waters. Fill them with Elhas. Fill them with Percano. Fill them with Dagas. May we get the protection, the comfort, and the patience that we need with these waters. Behold the waters of life. And now we're working for this right. Focus on what's happening currently on the southern border and actually throughout the US, but mostly the southern border with children 
and their families coming across the border and being separated. We call to the kindreds to watch over these children, watch over these families. We call to the kindred and ask that all get the comfort and support that they need and that all get re reunited as quickly as they can. We especially call on the gods and goddesses to watch over the children and protect them and guard them from anything that may happen. Focus on this mug I'm holding. Send these thoughts, send these prayers into the, into the beer. Mighty kindred, accept this offering and send our prayers to where they need to go. Now let us thank all of those who have been involved. Mighty ancestors, we have called to you. You have come, you have gave us beautiful omens for all that you do for us within our works and within our lives. Ancestors, we thank you. Land spirits, you all around us seen and unseen be you animal, be you plant, or be you spirit. We have welcomed you, you have come, and we thank you for all that you do within our lives. Land spirits, we thank you. And shining ones, gods and goddesses of all our days, whether you are known to us or not, you who look over us, or land, or our friends, all of you, we have called to you, invited you in, you have come, and we thank you for all that you do throughout our day. Shining ones, we thank you. Gatekeepers all, you have aided us once more. You have sent our words out far and wide, and you have brought back the messages we have heard these beautiful messages we have heard tonight. For all that you do for us, gatekeepers all, we thank you. And we ask that once more you join your magic with mine, and not just here, but in all of our homes. May the well become but water once more. May the fire become but flame once more. May the tree become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. And the Earth Mother, you who surround us and support us, aid us and guide us throughout our daily lives, we honor you first and we honor you last. And Earth Mother, we say we thank you. And last but not least, go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for the right has ended.